David with WhereToWheel.com. Today we're going to go over some off-roading trails in the state of Delaware. Uh, I do want to preface this that most of these trails are actually not in Delaware because Delaware doesn't have a lot, but we do have one listing that is inside Delaware and we will mention that when we get to it. So first we're going to start in southern Delaware with the beach one. So this one, these ones you can get out, play on the sand, you know, a little bit different. Not a lot of crazy off-roading, but it gets you off the pavement. So the first one is Assateague, hope I'm saying that right, State Park. Um, it's actually meant for saltwater fishing, but you can get out there and drive on the beach. No crazy off-roading, no donuts, you know, stuff like that, but it will get, like I said, it'll get you off the pavement. $75 um, a year. Yeah, it's worth mentioning they do have a fee. It's $75 a year for a pass, so make sure you get that before you go because if you do not have the pass, you cannot get onto the beach. And down near there, near Ocean City, Maryland, is Delaware Beach Access. This is kind of the same thing. There's 25 miles of beach driving, although it's really meant for saltwater fishing. So kind of same rules. You can get out there and drive around, you know, play on the sand, but no crazy off-roading. Don't interfere with them fishing, things like that. Um, but it's an option to get off the pavement, to go test out your vehicle, especially for beginners. If you're learning off-roading, you're learning, you know, uh, four-wheel drive and four-wheel low, four-wheel high, learning the difference. This is a good place to kind of test it out. While we're down near Ocean City, Maryland, I do want to mention there is an awesome Jeep event down there that happens every year in late August, usually around the second or two or the last weekend in August. Um, they change it up, but it's called Ocean City Jeep Beach Week. A lot of Jeep clubs um, and organizations from Delaware, Maryland, Virginia come up here, so it's a great place. If you're looking for new off-roading friends or a new Jeep club, it's a good place to kind of see everybody and kind of get into the environment. Thousands of Jeep owners show up. We've gone a couple years. It's a lot of fun. The festivities start usually on Wednesday, one all the way through Sunday. They have uh, multiple beach trail rides. You can get up in the morning and drive on the beach. I believe that one is with 250 other Jeeps at a time, and they put up a small off-road park that you can kind of play around in. It's got some hill climbs, some long bridge crossings um, that are over behind CNC Customs. So, you know, if you haven't been before, it's definitely worth checking out. Just wanted to mention that it's a great way to kind of um, find Jeep friends and get some fun in because, you know, there's not a lot of places to go off-roading in these areas. So that's kind of Southern Delaware. We are gonna move over into the state a little bit more, but where else can Delaware wheelers go, Dave? Okay, so if you're located in southern Delaware, we have a four or five trails listed on Where to Wheel that you can check out. They're all user submitted. One of them that we'll point out is the Delmar Pits. Delmar Pits. Uh, apparently a lot of land was excavated when they had to complete some construction project, and you can go drive on that excavated land. But again, you can find that on Where to Wheel. It's a user submitted trail. Um, so we've never been there before. We can't comment on it. We haven't vetted it. But uh, you can find it on Where to Wheel and go check it out if you're interested. And I believe that one is near Salisbury, Maryland. And as Dave mentioned, it's very important. I want to mention it again. Where to Wheel is a crowdsourced trail database. So it is 100% user uploaded, um, comments reviewed. So if you go and check something out and it's closed or it's different, please review it. Let everybody know. But make sure to look into it before heading out. Please. So, and now, that was in Salisbury, Maryland. We're going to move to northern Delaware, where this trail is the one that's actually inside the state of Delaware. It is called the C&D Canal Trails. And it's pretty much what it sounds like. There's a bunch of trails along this canal. Um, it's very muddy, so lots of people like going after it. It's raining, um, it's clay and gravel, so, you know, not rock climbing, but you can get out there and test your mudding skills. Um, it is important to mention though, it does close at dusk. So you need to make sure you're out of there after dusk or you will get a ticket, you will get in trouble. So when you're planning your day out there, it's probably best to go earlier in the day. And also stay the trail because it is yes. uh, uh, not guarded. It is uh, monitored by game wardens. So if yes, you're not please. staying the trail, they'll, they'll give you a ticket for that. Yes, and that's for any trail, game wardens or not. We ask you to please stay the trail. Um, keep our sport alive. You know, trails are closing left and right because people are doing illegal activities. We've just had a few closed down here in Virginia Beach where we're located because people weren't staying on the trail. So, as always, stay the trail, follow the rules, 
look into anything before you head out. But other up in northern Delaware, there is another one over near New Jersey, which is super popular. Yeah, so not too far east of Wilmington, Delaware, we have uh, Wharton State Forest. And inside Wharton State Forest, there's Pine Barrens Off-Road Park. Uh, there's more than 500, 500 miles of trails that you can drive yes, on. It's large. Uh, a lot of mud, a lot of uh, water, yeah. especially after it rains, the whole place floods. So uh, big tires and lots of mud is what you can expect. It is the place to go off-roading in New Jersey. We've had hundreds lots of different of people. people from New Jersey tell us that is the yeah. park to visit. We have not made all the way up there yet, but that's what our New Jersey wearable members have said. It yep. is the place to go. Pine Barrens, it's located near Hamington. Hamilton. Hamilton, New Jersey. So uh, not south, too southeast far. Southeast of Philadelphia. Okay, yeah. So if you're in the northern Delaware, you know, Philadelphia area, it's probably worth checking out. Yep. But unfortunately, that's about all the trails in Delaware. There are some over yeah. towards the west. It's right? worth getting on and checking out the Where to Wheel map. Uh, we don't know where you're located at, but there are. Uh, my screen's not too far zoomed out, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different pens near northern Delaware. So get on wheel.com, check it out for yourself, and see where, where there is to go off-roading near you. So it's a lot like uh, most off-roaders on the East Coast. You're going to have to put some time in on the pavement before you can get some time in on the trails. So we thank you for joining us today. Once again, please check out wheel.com and the map. It's 100% free to use and access. Uh, it's changing every day. We're asking everyone to kind of get on and make a space where everyone can get the most up-to-date information on all the trails near you and across the country. Thank you again, and you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Where Do Wheel.